So Isaiah, hey, you had uh, such a phenomenal uh, past couple seasons. What are the things that, that you've been focusing on through all the camps and the, and the combines and the seven on seven, or the things that you've been talking with Coach Ellinghouse about to say, you know what, I'm going to take it up even another level this year? Uh, mostly we're talking about just everything, get better at everything we can as a team and as an individual, more uh, yards after the carry. So that should be good. You know? And um, also just catching every ball, every pass. Make sure you look at it. And just the little stuff right now. We're working on everything, the little stuff. Has, uh, has your role uh, evolved in, in, in this offense in terms of him wanting to try to get you the ball as many ways as possible? Uh, yeah, it has. Uh, last year, you know, basically put me at every position possible, running back, wide receiver, everywhere on defense, and I'm probably going to keep it up this year. Special teams too? Special returns? Teams. Yeah, probably, okay. probably back on returns too. Okay. Uh, how, how, how much uh, d- uh, does that f- uh, fire you up uh, knowing that's like, I have an opportunity to, you know, to change the game or to break a game open, you know, in, in really in three different ways? I love it. It's just so many opportunities to make plays and just make plays for my team. Uh, if, if, if I took the guy who was in the playoffs last year and then fast forward to, uh, to now, what are people g- going to see uh, this year? Is it just is it bigger, stronger, faster? I mean, are there are, are there things that you've worked on in terms of like getting in and out, in and out of routes? I mean, uh, what, what are we going to see this year that maybe we didn't even see at the end of last year? I would say my routes are crisper, uh, not taking off plays, if anything, because uh, they have me taking off a little bit of defense, so my legs are a bit fresher for offense. So. Okay. From a team standpoint, great challenge for you guys right from the get-go uh, playing San Fernando that has one of the longest winning streaks in the, in the state. Obviously, it was a good challenge for you guys uh, last year. I know it's not a league opponent, it's not a, play, a playoff opponent for you guys, but how excited are you about that challenge right away for you guys? Very excited. It's a big game. Yeah? We get in one of the second longest streaks in California, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, what what uh, what did you guys uh, take away from, uh, from that game uh, last year? I know it probably seems like a couple of lifetimes ago, but just yeah, I mean, obviously Solano's graduated, but you know there's still going to be an up tempo offense. Uh, what, uh, what what are the things that you guys are since you had the entire off season to prepare for? What are the, what are you guys looking at? Uh, we're going to match their tempo, be it, try to be faster than they are, and um, they're a good team still. We just have to play our best. They get, I feel like. We're the only ones that can make us lose this game. Okay. Uh, as we get in, uh, in, in, into the league schedule, obviously still still broken up into a couple of divisions. I had the opportunity to talk to Milky Stovall at Paraclete. I know that game isn't officially on the schedule, but I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to do everything in your power to make sure that on that last week of the regular season that you're seeing the guys in white and red. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. We kind of keep that in the back of our head. We don't try to go two forward into the year, but that's one of the games you got to keep in the back. How, imp- how important is that, is that game to, to you, just in terms of, not not even so much as a rivalry, just in terms of like a measuring stick as you guys head into the playoffs? Um, it was, it's pretty big, I would say, because they're playing great competition outside of our league. We're playing great competition. It's just, I would say the two top two teams in our league can just go head to head and see where we go before the playoffs. The Alpha League has improved so much over the past uh, couple of years. I mean, obviously, I don't want to discount view, uh, viewpoint at all. I mean, obviously, they were probably the most improved team in the league last year. Winward has some unbelievable players and Roy Helmsley and Breland Brandt. I, I mean, how important is it to you to say, like, I want to continue to help grow and gain identity and gain respect for the Alpha League? Right, I love it. Because um, all these young players coming out, coming up from this league just gives so much more exposure and so much more hype, truthfully. And the last thing, uh, Isaiah, how, how just secure and at peace are you having that decision out of the way for Washington before the year starts? You don't have to worry about who am I in contact with, who's looking at me. I mean, how much of a weight is that taking off you? Uh, now I can just go play football, do the easy stuff. You know, I'm proud to be a dog. Very cool.